All right, so we got car outside. Let's give you guys kind of an overview on about how much rake it has. We got a center bar welded up in there. I got to finish up welding and putting the gussets back in. But so to give you guys an overview on my idea, so we're going to, ah, uh, the mark got rubbed off, but the trunk's going to be tucked about right, right here somewhere. I know it's 18 inches from here back. And then the trunk goes 19 inches down. And then our mark is 19 inches from front of the bumper, front of back bumper. So then when this folds up, it will be a perfect square. We're gonna dimple this, dimple there, fold that up or cut it off, I don't know yet. Um, I did something <laughs> a little different, and don't mind, don't mind that. When we were tipping the car over, uh, it came out the overflow or whatever. But I don't know if you guys can tell really, but we cut, we cut the tops of these doors off because I think I think it's a big waste of time welding all that crap. I think it's a big, big waste of time. Doesn't do shit. But I could be wrong. You guys let me know. I'm just going to strap. I'm going to strap there and strap there and maybe pinch the door shut if I have time. But I really don't care about the tops of doors. But yeah, so there's a little overview. I haven't done A-arm strap yet. I'm going to upload a new video with another car. That I'm hoping to wrap up tomorrow or Monday. It's a, just a wire class car. But I gotta, I gotta get that finished and get it back to the customer. So we're gonna go bust that out. But I'll give you guys an overview. This imp, man, this imp has some rake. Like just from from there to there is a 12 inch difference. And we do have to put different tires on it. I'm going to put these 700s on the Vic to bring it to dead on 28 inches tall. This car with 700s on it is 31 and a half or 32 inches to top a bumper, which is way too high. So we got to drop it down, put 23s on the front. Uh, we're just waiting for a tire to come in. Should be here in a couple of days, probably next week by Wednesday. We'll have that on. Um, we got to figure out one rear tire for my car and two rear tires for my dad's because Heber does not allow bead locks, which is kind of odd, but it's okay. But yeah, and we're going to canoe this trunk. So by the time we're done with it, this trunk is going to be down on the floor in between the body bolts. Like this thing's gonna be nasty. And then we're gonna take the bumper strap and weld all the cross the top of the bumper. Like this thing is not gonna move in the back. I don't know where it's gonna go. But yeah, I'm gonna go work on a wire car, post some videos and give you guys an idea on how to do that. It's my first time. So it's gonna be a learning experience for both of us. I've never built one before. I usually just strip them down to frame and body and put all my stuff in it. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think on these cars. Any pointers before we move any further ahead? I know I've had one one guy said I should have put the dash bar lower already. I Snapchatted my buddies, and they said I should have put the dash bar lower. But I ran at the same height in, in this car, this blue one. And, yeah, shout out to MHC Sign and Design, by the way. He is awesome to deal with, fast, and I will recommend him to everybody. He does roof signs, door wraps, he does trucks. He did the see-through vinyl on my truck, the side of my truck. But tomorrow we're also, my brother and his buddy is going to come down and help me. They're going to come pull all my stuff out from the inside. I do have to get a new seat. We got to cut that steering column holder deal off. But I had the cage up just as far last year, and I think it gives it a, actually a really good kicker angle. I think it helps. I don't know. It never went back here. All my stuff that I'm trying to fix is so that does not happen. 
So the shock tube going through the inside back to the outside of the frame, I think will take all that out and also help with with the bending in this area. Because on my on this Vic, that's the only part I'm concerned about is right there. I don't think it's going to go anywhere else. It might go in here, but I'm going to plate it because it does buckle a little bit right there. But like I think I think these cars will do just fine. But if you guys have any pointers or whatnot, let me know. Um but make sure you uh, like the video and subscribe. It really helps us out. And if we get big enough to where I'm creating a decent revenue, um, I will stand behind my word and I will build a full car, like top to bottom, brand new parts, and give it away. I don't know how we're going to do the giveaway, but I'll figure it out once we get there. But if we can grow this, share it with your friends, send them a video, tell them to subscribe. I'm not begging, but if you want to, and we get this channel big enough to where, to where it's bringing in some decent money, I'm totally willing to give back to you guys too. And maybe we'll do more giveaways, you know? Maybe I'll give away a pointy bumper or some spindles. You know, we can, I mean, sky's the limit if we can build this YouTube up. But thanks guys for following along and hopefully this video is long enough. Let me know if it's too long. I don't want it to drag out. But thank you guys and have a good night.